Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you a step-by-step -step guide on how you can start and use huddles on Sly. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So as we all know, and I'm sure you can agree with, communication is paramount to success in every business model, yes? And remote work is definitely no exception. So what better ways there to do all of that than with voice chats? Luckily, Slack lets you do all of that through huddles. So the way to do it is you want to open your Slack and you want to simply click on the group chat or channel on which you want to have a meeting with. So let's say I want to have a meeting with everyone in sales report. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the chat and we're going to navigate our mouse over to the right side of our screen and simply click on huddle. So you can kind of see where I'm going with this. But something to take note here is when you're on the web browser app like me, Slack may ask for permission to use your microphone and webcam. And when it does, just make sure to click on allow. So let's actually click on huddle and review its features. So right off the bat, as you can see here, it comes with your run of the mill features like the mute button for your mic, uh, turning, turning your webcam on or off. But the coolest feature, if I do say so myself, is sharing your screen. Because what better way is there to get your point across in a meeting than with sharing your screen? So let's say you have visual aids that you want to share or like a PowerPoint going. Uh, this is the way to do it. You also have sending a reaction. So this is a way to acknowledge uh, whoever's talking to chat. This is a, uh, You can send a thumbs up emoji or the winking emoji to, t to let them know that um, you've acknowledged what they've said or whatnot. And naturally, you can also invite people from different teams into the same huddle. So that's pretty much it for how you can start a huddle with Slack. I hope you guys found this guide helpful. If you want to see more guides like these, be sure to show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking the video, and make sure that the bell notification is turned on. So thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.